Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Bearable IT. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about row-level formulas. For the longest time, Salesforce didn't support this, and it was very frustrating because if you wanted to have a, f a field on your report that did something basic like add two days to your close date or subtract two days to your close date and have that be another column on your report, you would have to add a field onto your object, and that was a pin. Now you get one of these per report. I'll give you some examples. Click here and press add row level formula. We'll do something simple like close date plus two. Our output type is going to be a date and close date plus two days is the name of this one. And if I put them side by side, you can see it just did exactly that. Notice that the add or level formula is grayed out because you only get one per report. Let's do one more. Something a little more advanced this time. Let's do this where we do salesperson needs to update close date. and it's going to be a text. I've got this longer formula field here, or formula. And you can do logic just like you could do in Microsoft Excel. So if you know how to use formulas in Microsoft Excel, you should feel pretty comfortable here. This is basically saying if the last update is less than the close date and the opportunity is not closed one, then the salesperson needs to update it. Otherwise, they've done good work. Let's validate this and press apply. And if I put it side by side with the last modified date and the close date, you can tell that this is actually working. And the one instance where the last modified date is less than the close date, the salesperson needs to go update it. All of these are in the past, so it makes sense to go update them. Anyway, those are the kinds of things you can do with a row-level formula. Just think Microsoft Excel. If this video was helpful, please go ahead and like it. Comment below if there's anything you'd like to see in a future video. And thanks for watching.